I shit myself once. Like on purpose? No, man. No, I no, mean like, like you do it on dudes purpose. Used to do it on, pur on purpose. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. I shit myself by accident. But it was like a Hershey squirt. Explain. All right, so let's elaborate. See. So like I used to have like real bad anxiety before my basketball games. No, like seriously, like it was really bad. Yeah. Like I didn't even know it was anxiety. Then. But like. Before my games, I would get like diarrhea. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to your episode. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Welcome back to episode 72 of Barbershop Break Room. Three. Three. 73. 73 of Barbershop Break Room. <laughs> Guys, got a question for you. If you could have a one on one sit down interview with any current athlete, mm. who would you pick? Derek, you're first. I mean, First off, I want to say Matt's running the board. Shout out to Matt. I'm sitting in his, <laughs> I'm sitting in his seat. Um, I don't want to be that guy, but I want to say LeBron probably. Hey, you're not being that guy. You're interviewing the greatest athlete of all time, bro. LeBron. What the hell are you about to ask that bum? A lot of shit. <laughs> Why the monkey lying? He came, Why he came from nothing. Lying? Hey, bro, came come on now, dog. <laughs> The streets Come back. on, man. <laughs> Jordan? Uh, probably Pat Mahomes. Patty? Oh, that was a shocker. All right. <sighs> Matthew? Uh, one current. Uh, you just go steal a sip like that? Goddamn. Let me go. I think uh, TJ Watt. There would be some dudes being dudes. Okay. Yeah, there's no like Cleveland Brown on the roster right now. That was like a tenure. Like Joe Thomas would be one that that would be cool. Talk Joe about Hayden would have been cool with some dinosaurs. Nah, I don't. Nah, Jurassic Park ain't my thing, dude. <laughs> one on one sit down, dog. I'm talking to Deshaun. I got questions. <laughs> I've got questions. Oh, I don't care who his publicist, manager, agent <laughs> is, and who they tell me I can and cannot ask. I'm letting the question fly right off the rip. Nah, bro. It's gonna be like. Uh, it's gonna be like when we have fucking Davion on here. Oh, oh media train. Yeah, and stuff he's gonna like be that. so media train. He ain't gonna say shit. I can't believe he was that media train. That really upset me. Okay, what about a not current athlete, a retired athlete? Ah, uh, fuck. Kobe Bryant. That counts. Don't laugh. Don't, don't, don't. He said That's not just... retired, not not dead. <laughs> he didn't say not. Well, he never said. You can't have a dead I mean, guy. So th th you're gonna just go to the tomb. <laughs> That'd be cool. This is a hypothetical, but I, I I would like to keep it in the realm of like possibility. They're still with us. Oh. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> it's a good. <laughs> you should have added that in there. <laughs> I don't think he's got. I don't think he's got much to say. You should have added that in there. Uh, <laughs> Michael Phelps, dude. <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't hey, know. To the be the most honest. decorated Olympian of all time. I really yeah. don't know. Tony Hawk, you know. <laughs> this motherfucker, Jordan. What you got? Um, does Tony Hawk still? I skate? feel like Tom Brady's the low hanging fruit, so I won't say him. But I mean, as if you want though, it's like I, I think Gronk would be a good time. Hell yeah, it'd be some. Oh yeah, y'all really would be some dudes, bro. Yeah, yeah that's. If you say go to party with Gronk's my number. Facts, one. Matt. Who you interview? Dudes being dudes. I'm interviewing Michael. I'm asking D Bakes question. <laughs> no, you asking D Bakes question? Is it true no. that you got your dad killed? <laughs> Jesus. No, I'm asking if them like he got. So, there's so <clears throat> many stories. I just need to know what's true. And what's For sure. Like, no, nah, I got you. Was you really? Did you have the flu? Did you get hammered? Did you get poisoned? Right. What happened? How would you feel when you left and Scottie Pippen still carried your bulls? Oh man. Yeah. Good question. He couldn't carry his balls. Good questions. <laughs> If I had to, it, it's tough. I got two in my mind. It would be between Deion Sanders and Shannon Sharp. And I, Ooh, Shay Shay. Uh, I, I really feel like I would have I a better time. Shay Shay would just Sharp. be fun. Yeah. He'd just I don't be know fun. what you would get out of Shannon, but I think it would be fun. But you like, he played for like. When he calls you know, the National Guard. He played in Ravens team, uh, yeah. for those Ravens teams early. <laughs> like, uh, he would be a fun interview. Deion Sanders would be fun too, but like, oh, sure. Shannon Sharp, I feel like he would just be like, just a little bit more fun. Oh, absolutely. He would be more fun, but like I don't know what. Like, you see him with Ocho Cinco. You I'm you gonna ask him question. He'll be like, "Oh, you know how I do, right. like, that. like you really get like real answers." Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna go Dion. Dion would be my retired athlete. I would want to have a one on one sit down with, and that'd be dope. Remember, Jordan. This is a weird seat. I know. <laughs> I'm just not used to sitting here. What you got for us? So I want to shout out the No Regulars podcast. 
But no regular. I've seen this clip from them. Shout out, shout out. Ain't no regular ass. Never mind. In a gladiator style ring. Oh, gla- hold up. Like a like old school, like in the yeah, sand. Like the Coliseum. Okay, in the sand. okay. Would you rather? Got it. Go against twenty Stephen Hawking's. <laughs> All right, sorry. But their wheelchairs <laughs> sign me up. But their wheelchairs go thirty miles an hour. Oh, oh you're shit! Fucked. Or ten Helen Kellers with pistols. How, how much ammo they got? A mag. Um, like that's probably fifteen. Like I mean, we'll say ten ex- of them. We'll say an extendo. There's 25. ten of them. No, nah, say fi- uh, an extendo's fifteen, bro. I have two okay, guns that only have seven bro. shots. Fifteen. Damn. So you got 150 shots total there. I think. I think your best chance is Helen Keller. She might start shooting herself. That's yeah. Might Stephen Hawking, he can out. at least track you 30 down. Thirty miles per hour is fast. Yeah, yeah. Like he said, like 15, 20, Ah, uh, there's a chance. Bro, Tyreek Hill, like his top speed was like twenty-seven miles per hour. That's what he, I know. You gotta go Helen Keller. Like there's just no other option. You're not getting a, unless you get on one of the back of Stephen Hawking's back and like ride. You like, like they can't get you. You hijack it. Yeah, yeah. bro. You could. Yeah. And you start driving yeah. that shit. Y'all ever played Halo? Yeah, you yeah. the banshee the or thing? the ghost. It's yeah, called the yeah, ghost. Yeah. You, you know what? On that thing, yeah. you can just ride on time, and then you just kick him. You out. know what? I'm going with Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I'm clotheslining his dumb ass, even though he's a genius. His dumb ass. Wait, wait, getting wait, right wait, in his wait. chair, and I'm riding. Whoa, pause. <laughs> You're <laughs> wait. Huh? So like, I'm not trying to sound like a dick here. These aren't regular like wheelchairs. Like he's strapped in. <laughs> yeah, he has to be. Dad said he like he's strapped in like a car seat. He has to be like like NASCAR. He has to be strapped in, bro. Because if he ain't strapped the, in, he flying out. I'm just hopping on the back. Like he doesn't have a weapon or anything, right? He's just going thirty yeah, miles per hour. Thirty miles an hour. Oh, I'm taking my chance with the thirty miles per hour, bro. Until they all circle around you and you're just in the middle, and they all just come at you at once. What they gonna do? He just can't run into you. What are you gonna do? They jump crush over? you. That's the whole point. Bro, Stephen Hawking is like this, bro. Oh, bro, all like, the wheelchair is like this. Bro. They just need to hit you once, and then you're already <laughs> this is on the all ground. We can do. Yeah, but going thirty miles an hour. I am going to kill you. Yeah, bro. but like, <laughs> I feel like if I just turn my chair to like to the back, like they go, through, they hit me in the back. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm going with Stephen Hawking, bro. He's no threat. That's crazy. <clears throat> all yeah. right, I'm going Helen Keller. Derek, because as soon as I hold, because as soon as I take out one of them. No, I got the pistols and they can't even see me. Great idea. Yeah, bro, but if they're d- bro, they're just dumping like I know it's they're only blind one person and deaf, so they're yeah. just shooting. They don't know what's going on. <laughs> <It's just> man- <laughs> All right. Dude. Okay. Dude. All right. And we're canceled. All right, then we're done. <laughs> they just done. We're done. Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> no, like, you know how deaf people sound like because they don't have like we know, bro. You don't have to say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I mean, bro, come on now, nah, dog. Like Come Matt said, on, you have to man. be the Helen Kellers. I said because she's going to start shooting herself. And then Matt said, you can take the fucking pistol. Oh, oh you got to do is take out one. Shit. Maybe take out two. You can do a wield. Yeah. Bro, you got to get in close proximity. John Morant type bro. shit. Yeah. All right. You got to really get in close boys. proximity to. I have an icebreaker somebody too. Somebody with but a gun that can't hear yeah. you or see you. I have an icebreaker, but Jordan didn't say his, I don't think. That, that was, was it, motherfucker. Oh, I didn't hear it. My bad. You didn't, you didn't hear, it. hear it. We just talked we just about had it for a full seven minutes. Well, I didn't hear like who he chose. That's what I meant. Oh, I don't have an answer. <laughs> That's my question. I don't have to answer. Ain't that what Dante says? Bro, come on. All right, all right. What you got, Derek? Um, well, this one I thought about in the showers. Shower thoughts, you know. Okay. Um, and I seen this on the Pat McAfee show in 2022 because I had to look it up and I forgot who said it. Channing Crowder played in the NFL. Would talk about other NFL players that would pee themselves during football games. Yeah. You guys played high school sports. Did you ever like pee yourself during a game a instead of not like instead of going out? Matt's laughing because he he's looking at me. He already knows. He already knows. Instead of going out, you just like pee. I think we be all already pee. Know. You want you me shit to tell yourself a, story? a little bit? You want me to tell a story? I shit myself once. Like on purpose? No, man. No, I mean no, like, like you do it on dudes purpose. Used to do it on purpose. On purpose. Yeah, I didn't do it on purpose. I shit myself by accident. But it was like a Hershey squirt. Explain. <laughs> all right. So let's elaborate. Know. So, like, I used to have, like, real bad anxiety before my basketball games. No, like, seriously, like, it was really bad. Yeah. And, like, I didn't even know it was anxiety then. But, like, before my games, I would get, like, diarrhea. And then, like, for, like, the first, like, couple seconds of the game, literally, like, 15 <laughs> seconds, I would, like, dry heave. So, like, literally, bro, I would be in the middle of a game like this. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, Dante couldn't start because he was still on the end of the No, nah, bro, I was, in, I was in the middle of the tip-off like this. 
<laughs> like about to jump, bro. For real. So uh, that's probably why you won so many. If I was the dude going against you, <laughs> fuck his cat. Like, doing? dude, catch the ball. What are you doing? About to puke? So, I don't know if it's my junior or my senior, but we had a season opener, home game. So I was wearing a white jersey, and I had this like ferocious diarrhea before the game. So I go in the bathroom like three, four times. I'm shitting my brains out, and everybody's warming up and stuff. And they keep calling me, like, come out. And I'm like, so I go warm up, and I got to run back in the locker room. <laughs> warm up, run back in the locker room. I wasn't puking. I was shitting my pants. Oh, same thing. Well, shitting my brains out. So the game's about to start, and I have to shit again. But, like, I'm starting, so, like, I cannot go back out. And I can't look at my coach. I go, somebody else got to start. I got to shit. So <laughs> the game's about to start, and I'm clenching. As hard as I possibly can. You're holding that turtle head in. Yeah, I'm like clenching. So like we go over to the bench and stuff and like we're getting ready to start and <clears throat> a little bit leaks out. I can feel it. I'm wearing compression shorts. And it's liquidy. Yeah. Yeah. Water. Yeah, there was no turtle head. I'm wearing, <laughs> I'm wearing compression shorts. There was no shorts, actual bro. shit. That's why it leaked out, bro. It was liquid. It was a dam about so, to fucking break through. So like I'm wearing compression shorts. Like it's just trapped. So I like sit down. The coach is talking to us, getting the game plan together. And I'm just like sitting here like, dog, I hope nobody smells this. Like I just shit myself a little bit. That's so, crazy. I stand up and one of my teammates goes, hey, bro, what's on the back of your shorts? Uh, and I was like, Gotcha. So I had two options. Tell him I shit myself or just play stupid. But what? I play stupid. I'm like, bro, what? Like, what you talking about? So like, I pull it over to like, look. And it wasn't much. It was like, just like a little dot, like about that big. Oh, bro. like a blood stain. You can't so say like, you sat on some chocolate So I said, I must have sat in something. And my dude goes, bro, you shit yourself? And I go, come <laughs> on, bro. Like, are you doing this to me? And I just ran out on the court and it was time for tip off. And we just never talked about it ever again. So I never peed myself on purpose, but I definitely shit myself by accident. Matt, you ever pee yourself? <clears throat> No, can't say I have. No, oh. I mean, I have once. For real? Yeah. During purpose? a football game? Yeah. Yes. You Why did I do that? So bad because that you didn't want to come out. Huh? What did you say? You had to go so bad that you didn't want to come out. I didn't have to go like terribly bad, but I knew I was going to have to piss during throughout the game, and I knew there was no time because I played every down, every like special teams, offense, defense, everything. Oh, dang. So okay. I never like got a chance to go out. And yeah, I was, was only 15. And I'm on defense. 15. I'm playing corner right now. Yeah, no, I'm playing corner and I'm like, oh, there's not enough time. So, like, as I'm like in my stance, I just go a little bit before the play. Hey, it's all like sweat, you know? No, it's not. It's just not at all. It's all like sweat. It's just not. I mean, it gets washed. It gets washed. And it's kind of cool when you get to tackle someone and thinking that you pissed on them. Yeah, but you just stink. Mm, no, my you, piss was pretty good. When you get up, you should, you should have, like, <laughs> Climbed up their body to get up, like hump them yeah, a little you bit. Smell that? You smell that? You smell that? <laughs> smell that bitch? You smell that bitch? Kind of what I told Matt this. I think last week, kind of like your basketball thing. I think I was playing JV. I was not very good at basketball, but I was playing JV, Still and I'm out there running around, basically get subbed out. I'm walking off the court, and I see some toilet paper on the on the court. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is there toilet paper on the court? Sit down on the bench. My friends behind me, they play varsity, so they were just watching the JV game. And they're, like, laughing at me. And I'm like, what are you laughing at? And, like, uh, they said I had toilet paper, like a fucking flag hanging outside my no bottom way. of my shorts. And I was running around like it was a little flag just no waving around. Way, the whole, bro. like, first quarter of the JV game. Ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. There's a way. Boy, ain't no way, boy. At least nobody watches JV games. Boy, ain't no way, boy. They're at, surprisingly for Letonia. Yeah, I got what, else, what else you got to do? They're they're watching JV games, <laughs> so that was embarrassing. All right, boys, let's get into some sports talk. Well, more sports talk. We got to talk about Sir Cam Newton. Cameron. Hey, I got to compliment my dude Cam. He stood on business, and he stood ten toes down. At first, it looked like he was breaking up a fight from, like, everybody was talking about he was breaking up fights and stuff, but then it turns out my dude was getting jumped. Oh, Cam was handling them motherfuckers, bro. They couldn't do nothing with Cam, bro. <laughs> right. I just think that was a piss-poor attempt at jumping someone, Yeah, to be honest with you. The top five. Yeah, we saw time. Dak get jumped in a fucking parking lot when he was still in Mississippi State, and it was way better than that jump. <laughs> They like, did a way better job. Yeah, the way they better did they a did. shitty job trying to jump. Over jump him, back, had his ass on the ground getting fucking Dog, blasted. They on were him. on each side of him, holding his legs, trying to pick him up. Couldn't get him off the ground, and he's still dragging one of the dudes by his shirt with him as they're trying to beat him up. Right, like he's at 
six five NFL athlete. Like you, you better come correct, bro. <clears throat> like swing. Like <laughs> what you doing? Like cats are just grabbing, they grabbing his legs. Like nobody was trying. Like they tried to punch him at first, and then they just grabbed on. I think one dude got him good. Like yeah, he had like he, a white yeah, shirt. He had a white shirt, shirt or punch. something. Yeah, he yeah. snuck him. One dude got. Him. Did you see Kendrick he Bourne? Didn't snuck him. He came straight up. Kendrick yeah. Bourne on live. Yes. Trying to call Cam Newton is just this other kid. That's it was the just, kid. It was so that was the same number that Debo Samuel was texting yeah. when they were talking shit. Yeah. That, like, who is this kid? And this kid's like, you got to tell. But how does everybody like think that that's Cam Newton's number now? I, I, well, it probably was his number. And then maybe. it got. And then he and then switched he it or whatever. So like or everyone that thinks it's Cam Newton uh, is texting this kid. And this kid on live is like telling Kendrick Bourne, hey, you got to let whoever has Cam Newton's number or Cam Newton know that. They changed his number, bro. I'm getting all these texts asking how I'm, how I'm doing after I got he jumped. He got mad famous people. <laughs> he's probably yeah. happy, though. Yeah, he's getting hit up by NFL. Imagine being like stuff. a 15, 16-year-old kid and like cats just calling you and texting. But you don't I'm know who they are, Kendrick though. Bourne, though. You don't know who I mean, they are, though. I mean, you don't though. know who they are. Cause like, like, what's he up, didn't bro? Even... I forgot to save this. Who is this? Like, he didn't even know who Kendrick Bourne was when he answered the FaceTime. Yeah, I wouldn't like, I wouldn't know either. I wouldn't be hyped about Kendrick Bourne. I'm going to be honest. Like, but Debo Samuel texts you talking shit. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Hey, but that wasn't even the most impressive part. Like the fact that they couldn't beat my dude up or like pick him up or like successfully jump him. If you say that his hat didn't come off, I'm taking the camera off you. The most impressive part <laughs> is the fact that his hat never moved. <laughs> it didn't even shift an inch. Bro. Glued to his hair. It never shifted a centimeter. That baby stood ten toes down on them Dog. dreads and it never moved. <laughs> The fucking yeah, the, top. the dreads held it up, held it in place. His dreads were coming out the top where you wanted to go. It was funny because in the fight, at first you couldn't tell who was who, and then I saw them dumbass hats, and I said, "Oh, they're gonna camp right there." And I just was so keyed in on the hat. I'm like, it's just not moving. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. I had to. Where are we going next? Poor Cam. Fuck oh, Cam. Man. I seen a, a bunch of videos that were clipped together of Cam just getting attacked. I was Bro. like, damn, this cat really been like. A lot of people don't like him. You remember little dude trying to disrespect him life. at his camp? Uh, the one little yeah. dude. Oh, the there kids? was like yeah. four yeah. different ones yeah. of him. The cam goes, "I'll pay your rent. You beat me in a punt pass kick competition." He goes, "Nah, I don't waste my time with tra- trash washed up." Uh, no way. Blanks like you. Imagine calling an NFL player trash washed up blank, and you never even played there. Yeah, and you're at his camp. You Dang. paid money to go get coached by this guy. Speaking of, I, have I a wouldn't question. go to his camp, but go on. Why not? Okay, you, this is probably going to tie into my question. Say what you're about to say. Okay. Say what I'm going to say. say what you I don't think Cam say. Newton's that good of an accurate quarterback to where, like, if I'm going to be a quarterback in the NFL or I'm looking to be a quarterback in the NFL, I ain't going to Cam Newton's camp to learn how to throw or how to do anything like that. Yeah, but he can still throw say, better than no you. No offense. Though. Same thing with Lamar. Yeah, but they could throw. Whoa, what's the, I'm sensing a trend here. Same thing. Hold on. Hold up, Giants can't Daniel think of his Jones. name. Daniel Jones wouldn't learn from him either. Yeah, but like I think you can there still you go. Learn Is that a white guy? Those dudes, <laughs> I think uh, you can still learn from. That's I, like I think you can learn from him. But if you're gonna choose, let's say you have money and you're like one quarterback camp you're gonna go to, Cam Newton's gonna be at the bottom of your list. Yeah, but those that's the thing though. Even Patrick in his, Mahomes ain't doing a quarterback camp. Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow and all of those. Justin people, Herbert, Mike. They know what it takes to get there. That's the point. Yeah, like, like they these are NFL quarterbacks, starting NFL yeah, quarterbacks. They like, know significantly more than they're going to get you to college at least. Yeah, you're a high school kid. Bro. Maybe. They throw Cam Newton was than an athlete though. Cam Newton went to JUCO, then he went to Auburn. Yeah. So like, he was an athlete though. It wasn't because his pure fucking pocket presence and passing the ball you are disrespectful yeah bro, am i, I wrong a, I, I think he sucks me and am, had the argument we, me and already. Had a am i wrong debate though about this you're not wrong no but like i think you're wrong in the way you're looking i at do it. too though i do too yeah like i agree with what you're saying like if i'm gonna learn from a quarterback i want to learn from a precision passer who is accurate that's like saying a dude with an ugly jump shot you don't want him to be your shooting coach but like there's so much more than throwing the ball and i think the fact that like he's still an nfl athlete he, you can still learn a significant you know, amount from but him. It's, it's way more than just throwing the ball. It's making, it's making the reads. Foot it's reading work. the defense. It's when to get out of the pocket, when to stay in the pocket, all that shit. Why are you smiling at me? Defense? Because, because I just don't think Cam Newton's that great at reading the defense. He did have that greatest clip of. Um, oh, y'all been watching film? Luke Keekley. Watch this. Or what? Who was it? Christian McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey. Yeah, with the wheel route. It's that wheel route. It's that wheel route. That who, video. Yeah, who was the linebacker that was? It wasn't Luke. Remember. It was on the other team. Because I know team. Luke was on his team. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. But yeah, he called it out. Bam. I think it was against the Packers. AJ Hawk. I think it was against Clay. 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 I think it was against Clay. I don't know who it was. 
but well listen mm-hmm. so i have a question then that just tied into what i was going to ask completely great segue Derek. dang okay x packers quarterback i, I always i, I was mess just up about to talk about that the I drake may thing no, so not that tobin wrote um kurt burkhart was yep. it yep okay so shout out to him he always does quarterback analysis and stuff like that so he was doing his uh pre-draft analysis on quarterbacks right and um i'm looking through the thread and stuff and a lot of people are like why would I listen to you and you were a trash quarterback and this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. So why would somebody want to listen to like Mel Kuyper? Um, what's the Skip one dude's Bayless. name? Uh, I'm trying to think of something. Like Joel Clatt. Okay. Or I like Skip Bayless, anybody. But like then there's an athlete in front of him. out here giving advice. Uh, I see where he was going. I thought you just meant. <laughs> no. Yeah, I know. Well, I see where you're going like, now. Who you should draft. This guy yeah, is yeah. yes. This guy. But like there is an. Ex NFL quarterback, good or not, he still was good enough to get there. And he was behind Aaron Rodgers. How do you get to the point where you're like, I'm not listening to you? You don't. If you're not listening to him, there's nobody you're listening to. Yeah. Because first of all, Aaron Rodgers isn't talking about it. Patrick Mahomes isn't going to talk about Drake May making to leave. So like, people always talking about how they want ex NFL or ex athletes talking about sports and stuff. But then like, you can't pick and choose. Like, well, you were trash. I'm not going to listen to you. It's like, yeah, but they still know okay, the game on. though. As a high school kid. What is the goal? To make it. To make it. Yeah. Okay. You have to take advice where you can get it on dudes that made it. They made it. Exactly. They made it. No matter what level they were or how there, good. No matter what. They did enough to get Even there. if they did a shitty job while they were there, maybe it just didn't work out. Maybe it was a bad situation. You just never know. Right. What if Brock Purdy wasn't on the Niners? What if those other two guys didn't get hurt? What if right. Trey Lance didn't get hurt? Right. You know what I'm saying? Like... There's always an opportunity. It just depends who gets it. Exactly. And who doesn't. Maybe that guy just never got an opportunity. Right. What if he was nice? Right. He was behind Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. For what five if he was better than how much do you what think if he was better you than can't, you can't put him in over Aaron Rodgers? Yeah. And how much do you think he learned from Aaron Rodgers in five years? Probably Even though Aaron Rodgers don't like to teach people, but like Ryan Leaf. Oh, just watching Aaron Rodgers himself. Like Ryan Leaf might be one of the biggest busts in NFL history as a quarterback besides Jamarcus Russell. I was gonna say that he guy would have been cool to interview. Knows more than everybody in this room put together. There's a reason he's on TV. Exactly. He knows what he's talking about. Right. Like He, I, he was a nice-ass college quarterback. He just sucked when he got there. Right. And nobody else wanted to give him a chance. Yeah, I don't like when people beg for ex-players to be analysts and commentators, but then you want to pick and choose. Like, you were trash. I can't listen to you. Yeah, but I've still That's seen trash. it from a different angle than you will ever see yeah. it from. Like, you will never be under center on a practice squad or playing, you know, second team. You're not going to notice that. You will never get that experience. So, like, I thought that was just trash because he was giving his analysis. And, like, I was, like, reading what he was saying and stuff. And everything was, like, pretty good. Like, the Mason Rudolph thing is what people were killing him on. Yeah. And, like, but I understood what he was saying. He said he's uh, has an arm talent. Can like, I, like, can I go to your um, – I'd like to touch on your tweet real quick. Which tweet? <laughs> um, that he looked like a right-handed Tim, Tim Tebow. Tebow. Yes. That's fucked up. Why? Number one, because it's not, bro. <laughs> he he t- little <laughs> has he that Drake May has a quick release. <clears throat> no, Tebow t- has a slow. So well, if that you was- read Kurt Ben Kurt's analysis of Drake ben May. Kurt. Wow, I was off. He <laughs> said, <laughs> "Close enough." Drake May is a more athletic Mason Rudolph with less arm talent and a way slower release. And he had a video underneath of him under center. I watched dropping back I watched the whole video. He loaded up. Went all the way back like Tim Tebow. Even hit that little lunge forward that no, Tim Tebow. Like, Tim bro. Tebow used to lift his leg when he threw, Tim like... Tim Tebow used to, like, bring bro, that thing in a 360, Drake bro. May, it, listen, in the video when he hit the upright, it was a quick release because I think he was, like, really trying to, like, launch it. Well, even that video, Kurt retweeted it and said, like, look, yeah, he threw it far and he hit the crossbar, but that shit was slow as hell. That won't work in the league. Yeah, it, it is faster than Tebow's, but it gave me Tebow vibes, I should say. T-ball I respect that. I mean, I can't, I can't tell you what you saw. Yeah, I mean, it was just one video. I didn't watch. Like, I didn't watch a ton of Drake May. So, like, I think Drake May is top two in this draft. Well, right now they have Caleb Williams second behind Jaden Daniels. As far as like where they are right now, like Jaden Daniels is moving up the draft board. That shit's gonna change so many times. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, wait till the combine, the <laughs> pro days. Just, yeah, well, Nick's is gonna end up third, and he's like sixth right now. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah, I'll move up in the top ten probably. So while we're on the topic of quarterbacks, before we get to like some college talk and stuff, I have a question for you guys. 
On the topic of what? Uh, like college basketball and stuff. We got to talk some college basketball. No, you said you had it. Oh, we're going to talk about some quarterbacks real oh, quick. Oh, go ahead. So I have three different positions, and I want to know who you guys would take for the next 10 seasons. So quarterback. Who, okay. Who are you taking for the next 10 years to lead your team? Oh, uh, okay, okay. You don't so know who else is on the team. You don't know who your coach is, whatever, but pick That's one easy. of these three to lead your team. No, you don't get to pick Oh, your own. shit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm giving oh, you okay, the options. okay. I was going to say wanna, Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> yeah, I just want to see where okay, you are. Okay, okay. Option one is Trevor Lawrence. Option B is Justin Herbert. And option C is CJ Stroud. Derek, who are you choosing to be your quarterback for the next 10 years? Now, I know you're going to factor in age because like CJ Stroud is the youngest, but let's They're be, all pretty close in, close hey, enough in age where they can play 10 years yeah, and keep not in mind, be old. Quarterbacks are lasting longer too. So like, keep that in mind. Kirk's about to get 50 mil at 36. I like, Facts. I like Herbert over Lawrence, but then CJ Stroud, what he did his rookie year. You have to take C.J. Stroud. Off of one year. Off of one year, you have to take C.J. Stroud. Okay. All right, Jordy. Because he's shown... Can I go back real quick? Yeah, you can go yeah. back. Because he has shown, as a rookie, his peak's already better than those two already, from what they've shown me. Ew. I I say yes. From what, what he had around him and what he produced from the team that they were before, compared to T-Law, compared to Jay Herbo... Just remember, there's only been five hey, quarterbacks to throw for the 4, Chargers yards a rookie year, and one of the guys on his list is also in that. Chargers had a really good defense. Herbo didn't do really anything with it. I mean, his coach didn't help either. Mm-hmm. T Law, nah. He had weapons too. T Law, nah. nah. Okay. Jordy, who are you going with? I think I would probably go with uh, Justin Herbert. Can't be mad at That'd it. be my second one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just, mad at I don't it. think there's a wrong answer here, to be honest. T Law. Matthew, you going with C.J. Stroud. <laughs> C.J. Stroud, baby. Well, All day. C.J. Stroud's dead to me, so we already know after Why? we did it. After we did it to my Browns, he's dead to me. She got his own fault. No. Yeah. Anyways. Um, it's Joe Flacco's fault. Don't blame C.J. So I've called this dude overrated numerous times, and I still somewhat believe it, but oh, okay. I'm going to go Justin with Justin Herbert. Herbert because even though like, he's had a horrible coach, we have yet to see him with – a competent coach. <clears throat> so Justin Herbert is definitely a dog. I think I mean, we a, looked up his numbers it's yesterday. It's really close. Remember I think it's close up, between those two. It's really close. We looked up like, his numbers yesterday, and my dude can fill up the stat sheet. Oh, fuck yeah, he can. I mean, you watched a couple fourth quarter comebacks that he's almost, like, with his broken ribs or whatever you had that one game. He's well, a, pu- he's went a pure right down the town. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Yes. Well, there was actually, a, um, on his... Pro football reference, I actually didn't know it because I was thinking in my head, like, man, this dude's just not clutch. I don't know if I can go with him. And actually, it had he is clutch right at the top. Yeah, actually, he is. It had at the top, like, how many game-winning drives he had and stuff he like has a that lot. and how many fourth-quarter comebacks. And I was like— his defense is terrible. Right. Um, okay. <laughs> Supposed to have a good defense, and they were terrible. So you guys picture quarterbacks. Okay. Yeah. Running back real quick. Okay. Kyron Williams. Da. B. John Robinson. Da. Jameer Gibbs. Who are you going with for the next 10 seasons? I know 10 seasons is a long time for a quarterback because they don't last. I mean, running back. So let's just say five since running backs don't last that long. Okay. You're pairing him with your quarterback. Derek? Probably Bijan just off of the talent itself. He didn't. He probably had the least production out of those two. I mean, Kyron what came in the middle of the season? No, like third game or something like that. It was pretty early. So I don't know. But I would assume he had, had like the least amount of production out of all of them, but I'm still going to go Bijan. Okay. Jordan's about to be like, he killed He's my like, fantasy, no, I, I, I killed like my fantasy team. <laughs> I think... I like turtles. I'd probably go with uh, Jameer Gibbs. Just, I think he's a better dual threat than Bijan is. Who? Jameer, Jameer Gibbs. Gibbs. I just didn't hear you. Oh. Who are you going with? I'm going to go Jameer Gibbs, too. Um, I'm also Dude, going Jameer he's, Gibbs. He's nasty, bro. Yeah, I mean, he showed everything. Yeah. He showed he's good between the tackles, outside, passing game. Like, and dude, the pa- he's just such a difference maker in the passing game that, like. It does help when you're splitting carries, though. Yeah, it helps oh yeah, a lot. For sure. And that's the thing. Guys. I, don't that mean, was I, more, go sign I mean, look at Bijan was splitting carries, too. Yeah, I don't think he wasn't splitting direction. as much as. Jameer, because Jameer more, was not bro. getting he was on my fantasy team. He was, he was fantasy, fucking he was, me. There was one game where Tyler Algier had well, 25 listen, carries. They, there was like multiple <laughs> games where he would play like five snaps. I had David Montgomery Cordero, on my fantasy team. Because Cordero and Patterson and Tyler Algier more. would take all the snaps. Yeah, you guys are both right. They both were splitting carries. Bijan was probably splitting carries just as much, if not more. I think 
Yeah, but I think Jameer was splitting way more, especially in the, the beginning. beginning the especially season, in the David beginning, Montgomery was getting a lot. But Gibbs yeah. got his time to shine, though. He but had what, Gibbs was going two games, maybe three, when yeah, David Montgomery out. was hurt. Yeah, and he was the feature back, and he he showed what he could do as oh, the feature sure. back. Kyron Williams isn't bad though. No, Kyron yeah, Williams is Kyron good. Williams is nice. He's good. I just think the other two are, as Stephen A. would say, box office. <laughs> <laughs> All right, receivers now, last position. You got to choose between Rasheed Rice. Zay Flowers and Jordan Addison for the next ten seasons. Who are you going with? Damn. Only one had a competent quarterback. Me and Dante talk so much that I already know who he's picking. Only one had a competent quarterback. I think who? Pat Mahomes. Rasheed Rice. You um, go keep this. Like you go keep doing this to Lamar. And whoever played on the fucking Vikings. Oh, I'm okay with that one. Yeah, Nick <laughs> Mullins, even though he threw 500 yards in one game this season. But I mean, I watched a lot of, oh, it's weird, but Zay Flower highlights. Fuck it, Zay Flower highlights. <laughs> <laughs> they popped up. Um, <sighs> he wasn't far from 1,000 yards. Did you season. see his boxing highlights? Uh, boxing? No, he boxes. So who are you going with? Um, I don't know. Today, Either Zay today. Flowers or Jordan Addison, but Zay. I'm going to go Zay Flowers. You should have drafted Flowers. This dude. Jordy? I'm going to go Jordan uh, Jordan Addison. Okay. Because your name's Jordan? No. I just like him. <laughs> Jordan Addison is nice. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to go Rasheed Rice. You should have drafted flowers. I'm a so I love Zay Flowers. Matt knows it. That's why I say he always knows I'm gonna pick. I think I, he's a dog, bro. He's, he's nice. A little munchkin out there. Yeah, a little some dropsies at the beginning, but but the biggest thing for me is he's five nine, 180 pounds. And as Alex would say, I love five eight receivers. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Rasheed Rice. He's six one, two hundred pounds, a little bigger. Still was just short of a thousand yards. His routes, his and, route running is insane. And my dude is a good receiver. So I'm I'm going with Rasheed Rice. But I just want to see where you guys are. Remember were, everyone you know? was pissed when uh <clears throat> the Chiefs got Rasheed Rice. They were like, How did we let uh Pat Mahomes get Rasheed Rice? Blah blah blah. Yep. That that was crazy. I wasn't even familiar with his game that much to be honest. I, know so I was, was just like, <clears throat> Who that? Like, right. why y'all tripping? <laughs> Who's the dude for the Saints? Chris Olave? No, his name oh, kind Rashid, of Oh, Rashid uh, Shahid. Rashid Shahid. Yeah, they were talking Shahid about the nice. Chiefs getting him. The pump return oh, master. that motherfucker is the Special size team of dog. Derek. Deep A dog. God. Little. They were talking nah. about the Chiefs possibly getting him. They need to, I think, I mean, they won with no receivers, but they got to load up a star. Like, I want to see them. Like, I'm going to keep it real with you, bro. I think, like, he's still got a little left in the tank. I think Odell Beckham would be fire with them. <laughs> Listen, he made some big plays with the Ravens, and you're like, oh, shit. I keep hitting the wrong button. It, it happens. All right, so I told you it's gonna happen. I know. Let's talk about this court storm and stuff, boys. Are they being soft or what, bro? Let me cook. Go ahead. Go off, King. Dude, there's been court storming since like fucking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was in college. Like, and I've never, ever, ever heard of an injury in a court storming <laughs> until Caitlin Clark, and then all of a sudden now Kyle Filipowski. Mm-hmm. Like, what the fuck are we doing? I'm with you. I don't understand. Like, we've had, there's been court storming for the past 100 years. Like, now all of a sudden people are getting hurt? Right. Like, what are you guys doing out there? You, I mean. Both of them was weak. Filipowski, like, low-key tried to punk the dude. And he, oh, like, he tried to on, push He, it. like, stepped on his foot. Bro, he moved his arms out trying to, like, Kind of make contact with the dude. Like, put, I don't know if he's trying to push him out the way. I'm not going to say he intentionally tried to, like, push him to hurt him. He was trying to push him out the way or something. But Filipowski, whatever his last name is, he created that contact. Like, I know it was a gang of people, so eventually he's going to get hit. Bro, like, dude, you lose, soft. just get off the goddamn court. Just jog off the court. You're walking and all sad and shit. Like, just get off. Be sad in the locker room. Yeah, he... It was soft. I, I I didn't appreciate the fact that they're trying to like make court storm like this huge problem because I mean it assets. sucks that it happened. Like I don't want that to happen to anybody at all. Did like, he get injured or just hurt? He, man, he's got knee he, like, soreness. Sprained his ankle or, or okay, knee okay, or something okay. like yeah, he's that. Because like if he like tore something, then yeah, was, then well, it's yeah, a conversation. That would really suck. But like, it's literally never happened before besides this year. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, and, there's basketball, um, like a little D three or D two college that. After their first bucket, 
they just storm the court. Yeah, dude, after their first uh, silent night. I yeah. went there. You uh, went there? I went on a visit. I was about to go play football there. Uh, Taylor University. Taylor University. Well, they throw Look like it up. the toilet paper. Silent and night. Shit. Yeah, they wait. Well, no, no, no. They have to wait till they get. Or is it a certain nine score? points or something like that? It's a certain number. Oh, okay. It like it's it's significant to something. But I know and as soon as they hit that number, they just storm the court. Yeah, it's mid so game. Late. It could be mid game. Just hit a layup. Dude goes to end battle, but they're just storm well. The I don't court. know if they storm the court, but it's um, they call it silent night because everybody's quiet until, until they get that happens. Nine. Yeah. Like imagine, dude gets crossed mm-hmm. over and dunked on, and you just got to be quiet. That's crazy. Yeah. Like how I'm gonna feed off of that. That's pretty embarrassing, though. You just hear me loud as hell in the gym screaming. Yeah, like "Ah!" (laughs) no, the players ain't supposed to say nothing either. Oh, that's crazy. Ain't no way I can do that. Imagine you're the other dude that got dunked on, though. You're just like that's embarrassing. They ain't even reacting to you. You just hear loud as hell. Oh shit! (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, they stormed the court. You just hear the court too. I wasn't sure if they stormed it, but I know it's like dead silent. You just hear the record button like turn off after you get dunked on, (laughs) and you're like fuck. uh, they throw like toilet paper across the court and then they all run down on it. It's, ta- it's Taylor University though, right? Yep. You think someone's ever wiped their ass and then threw the That's toilet crazy. paper? That's crazy. Why are you? Dude, why no. are you? Where are we this? going now, bro? <laughs> so oh wait, I have an NFL game. If we want to do that real quick so it's, before we go to college, it's eleven points or ten points. It's ten. Ten. And then yeah, look, they all, bro. You should have tried. Let's go crazy out. storm in the court. Let's finish Derek's last before thing and then we'll go to our games to end it because we're like kind of like at the my last thing. Finish. Well, you. I thought I told you to do football or yeah, college I was, basketball. I was gonna go college basketball, yeah, because he mine's asked me. fast. All right. It's just pick one. His is fast too. I think his is just top five. Go ahead. We can we can go with Madison. We'll come back to college. All right, all right. All right. But then we're gonna go back to NFL again. Just so you know. That's all right. Okay. We'll bounce around. So this? you guys probably saw this already, but I'm just curious what your choice was. Okay. And I didn't want. I figured we could have the discussion here rather than in the group chat. So. I'm sending this uh, text real quick. A type of text to a girl I used to see. You want to explain it to the audio listeners that might not be watching? Yeah. might If they're not watching, how why do I have to explain? Because they just might be listening audio-wise. Oh. Okay. So I'm sending a graphic right ah. now. The graphic will be on the screen. Um, ah. These guys probably saw it already. It's very, very difficult, to be honest with you. Ah. Uh, one has to go. You have to get rid of one receiver. Damn. Mm. Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, Tyreek Hill, Jamar Chase. This is tough. Boys, who you got? You making me go first. Dante. Ah. Uh, ah. This is tough. It is it real is tough. Really, I've looked at this for a whole day, and I don't know yet. I think there's one for sure you keep is Tyreek. I think I that. Think there's two for sure you keep. I and? think there's four. Yeah, I do. Mean, yeah. <laughs> you can't go wrong with any one of these yeah, dudes. I, like, to me, in my head, Justin Jefferson and Tyreek are untouchable. Are you yeah. factoring in injuries? As soon as I looked at it, I had one dude that just, he was like, all right, that guy got to go. But I hate his team. That's oh, why. yeah. He's going to say C.D. Lamb. I'm yeah. leaning C.D. More- Lamb went the fuck off this year. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of leaning towards Jamar Chase. Recency bias. And, he, didn't play, and, he didn't play as much. So, listen. I don't know how many games he played. Um, I don't know what the numbers oh, and are. Joe Burrow was hurt. But I feel like, okay, so that that's my point. Um, I look at what Jamar did with a backup, and I'm not saying by any means like Joe Burrow makes him better or like, you know what I mean? Like, no, he's still I mean, smoking on that Joe. Bro, bro. He still had 1,200 yards this season. Damn. It's a hard CD I, had 1,712 touchdowns. I, I think so I'm going to go with Jamar Chase, man. Off, I think I'm going to go with Jamar Chase. Yeah. Cut Jamar? I think I'm going to cut Jamar, man. One. Just one. Cut one. Yeah, I think it's Jamar. Big Dur. Jamar. I'd have to go Jamar, too. Oh, we about to get that Bengals lady back. <laughs> you going CD Lamb? Who yep. are you going, Jordan? CD Lamb. C. 1,700 yards. Yeah, he had one good year. We'll see oh. CD you later. Who you going with, Matt? Uh, so... I mean, Justin Jefferson, he was hurt, but he only, he only had to a... finish last in stats out of all four of these receivers next season if everybody can stay healthy. You think so? <laughs> yeah. We'll Depends have to revisit that. His quarterback is. We'll have to revisit that, but I'm yeah, not mad absolutely. at that. Um, uh, he has 1,700 yards, though. Yeah, I okay. think I got to go Jamar Chase. It was him or Justin Jefferson for me. You're hot. Him or Justin Jefferson? Je- Jefferson was hurt. It was a hamstring. It wasn't like... He had 1,000 yards and five tutties. 
How many games ha. did he play? That's what I'm. That you have to factor that in. How many games? You did have he play? to have your receiver play. Is this all just based off of last season or like just overall? Overall. No, just overall. Okay. I mean, Justin Jefferson only has two years. Are, so. I mean, you guys are just only talking about last season. That's why I was like. Well, it's recency bias. Well, you talk it, about. Yeah, that's what I Like, that's the most recent stuff. memory we have. Like, do you really vividly remember Jamar Chase's rookie season? I remember he had a lot of yards. He had 1,400 yards. Yeah. I mean, Justin CD, Jefferson's rookie year, he had 1,700. No, CD is a really good receiver. I just, I out mean, of the four. I mean, the, team the reason why the most, so. CD in 22 had 1,400 yards and nine touchdowns. The year before, he was still going good, crazy. Justin Jefferson had eighteen hundred yards his rookie I didn't cut year. Eighteen hundred his rookie year. What did Jamar have? He probably went crazy too. Fourteen hundred. Justin his Jefferson rookie? broke the record, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. he has eighteen hundred. That's, that's that's insane. insane. But Jamar Chase his quarterback had, was Kirk. Jamar Chase had fourteen. That's like Matt Stafford. He's getting you the ball. That's be- Joe Burrow's better. <sighs> Jamar Chase had fourteen hundred fifty five. Less than Puka. My glorious king, Justin Jefferson. Oh, never. it's definitely Jamar than you have to cut. Sorry. <laughs> you said Jamar. I said Jamar. Yeah. But okay. you said yeah, Jamar. But it was up so to was him confused. and Justin, but then it's, never mind. Okay. Jamar. That, yeah, that's a tough one, man. You, you fucked was, us up with that one. Yeah, that was, I seen that yesterday. I was like, oh, Hey, so shit. how do y'all feel about the running back market in the NFL being in absolute shambles right now? The least valued position. Diamond yeah. doesn't. Diamond no, doesn't, Paul, baby. Paul I've been be, saying it. Paul it's, won't be tagged. Yeah. Eckler won't be tagged. Jacobs won't be tagged. Henry. Saquon won't be tagged. It's Henry. They're letting Henry walk. So I like, wouldn't tag him either. I mean, Henry's... Well, yeah, they're not tagging him either. Yeah, running back life, though, he's getting towards the end. I mean, Todd Gurley's like three years younger than Derrick Henry. Todd Gurley, so I've seen issues. everybody posting about that, but... <laughs> yeah. That's insane to think about. Yeah. This, the doctor I follow on, tic- or on Twitter, he said, uh, that's what happens when you tear your ACL and lose most of your meniscus. Yeah, you lose that Your step. Knee doesn't hold Somebody up. Get Jordan off thunder. <laughs> so, with that being said, Derek. All right, let's go. I have one question for you. As you day trade, let me know. Do you like turtles? So, with the running back market being as bad as it is, plug and play position. Some people would say Diamond does in his match. <clears throat> said, would you be in favor of the Browns that, mm? releasing or trading one Nicholas Chubb? As a fan and loving Nick Chubb, mm-hmm. no, I don't want to. Chubb lover, I don't want to get rid of Nick Chubb. You know, because you whisper, it still picks it up in the mic, even though if you take off your headset. Just go. <laughs> I, can, I can talk quieter if these aren't on my head. Okay, yeah. good. I gotcha. Go ahead, continue. <laughs> just talk over them. Anyways, um, I just yeah, I, hear, I, just, I, heard I, I, I know. <laughs> I turtle. He said college basketball. Oh, no, he said. Anyways, turtles. um. As an organization, to be safe, you probably cut him because this is a second injury. Same injury. To be safe, you probably cut him and get another running back. But to be respectful and, you know, what he's done for you so far, you sign that extension. Yeah, man. Um, this is a tough one for me because the fan in me says, like, you can argue if it's him or Miles Garrett, but I think Nick Chubb is our best player. Like, I look at... Right now, no, but before, yes. I looked at previous years at the end of the game when we've needed a stop for Miles or we needed Nick Chubb to get a first down, get a home run, run. Like, Nick Chubb usually makes the play that we need. So I think Nick Chubb was our best player. I I think you got to cut him. And I mean, the big difference is now you don't have that dual threat with Kareem Hunt because he ain't right. the same. Right. They were splitting carries. They were chunting him to death. Yeah. Now... What, you're going to give the fucking workload to Nick Chubb off of an injury? I don't know. I think you just got to cut him because last year we won 11 games without Nick Chubb. <laughs> Let's go win three this year, boys. All right. Y'all are just over there yapping. Get to the next topic. All right. <laughs> just because you run the boards and get the way you get to fast forward us. I can fast forward y'all. All right. If I want to, mother. So college basketball. College basketball. The tournaments, not March Madness, the conference tournaments start next. Yeah, next Tuesday. Week. Baby, explain that for someone that doesn't watch college basketball, please. The conference tournament start next week. What the fuck more you want? What's a conference tournament? Motherfucker, the conference, a tournament within the conference. Okay, when you win it, what happens? You fucking tell me. That I'm asking you. You tell me. You I get the know. number one seed on that side of the bracket. Thank no, you. You do not no, get you the get number one seed. You get see? an automatic bid. Oh, see, we didn't, see, I didn't know. I see, we didn't you, even know. I was trying to get you. I was asking you. I didn't know. 
Neither one of y'all. You should have said you didn't know. You get an automatic bid to the tournament. I said for someone that doesn't know. I don't care if it's the Horizon League. YSU wins the Horizon League, automatic bid. Yep. March Madness. So why why did you ask me about the top teams? We coming for that ass. TikTok. Okay. Coming for that ass. Dante's basically just going to give us top five college basketball teams right now. A little bit of reason why. And then that's it. Just for TikTok's sake. All right, so if I'm going to top, top five college basketball teams. You did the quarterbacks, so. What quarterback? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, what's it called? <laughs> college quarterbacks. Um, if I'm going my top five teams in the tournament. Um, you should have gave me a heads up. Or in college. <laughs> obviously, this doesn't count where they're ranked. I'm just going based off of performance, who they beat, lost to, whatever. Um, I have to go with Houston. Is this in order? Uh, No, no particular order. Give me an order. In order? In order. So you get roasted. We need it. Okay. Uh, I want UConn one. Ooh. Um, I want... Women's? Houston two. Um, I would... I do not want to put them three, but... Don't do it. Don't fucking do it. Don't okay, even though they blow it. it to a 16 seed and they stink in the tournament, at the end of the day, they still have put up quality wins and they beat the hell out of teams. Um, I'm going to go... Alabama over Purdue. Alabama's third. Purdue is fourth. And then Arizona will probably be my fifth team. That's a toss-up between them and Marquette. But one is UConn. Two is Houston. Three is Alabama, even though they just got smacked by Kentucky. Shout out to my alma mater. Four, Purdue. And five is between Arizona and Marquette. Will any of those teams win the natty? And if you had to choose one out of those five, which one is winning it? Houston. Okay. Yep. Can Would I you? get my five, please? Wait, sure, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Matt feels left out. Go, Matt. Go okay. Houston is one, for sure. Okay. UConn is two, for sure. Number three, Tennessee. Tennessee. I knew he was going to say Tennessee. Number four, Kent State. Alabama. I knew he was going to say Tennessee. Three. No, number five is Kansas. Kansas? Yep. Kansas is weak. Are any of those going to win the Natty? And if you had to choose one, who's winning it? Um, yes. Uh, we are not sharing this energy drink, bro. The number <laughs> one. Cat, look at this dude, bro. Put the camera on this cat. That is Sorry. my drink. I wasn't on him. I... That's mine. We aren't even sponsored by them. We're about to be. <clears throat> uh, I can taste Dante's lips. This, uh, this cat's crazy. <laughs> I don't even want it no more. I don't you even know want what? it no more. None, I don't think any of those five teams win the Natty. Who are you picking? Dang. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That's There's going to be a lot of upsets, a lot of crazy just shit. Give me a all matchups. Way like, too early. Just give me a yeah. random name. Who's going to win? Just random name. Kentucky. I said if any of those in the top five are going to win it, if not, who else is going to win? Kentucky. Shout out to my squad. Give me a random name. Kent State. Youngstown State. Arizona. Uni- okay. Ooh, Zona. Caleb Love is a gunner. Ooh, he's a gunner. <clears throat> he catches fire at the, at the right time. Being someone that like doesn't watch basketball, hearing a top five that doesn't have Kentucky, Duke, or UNC in it is crazy. Yeah, crazy Duke work. is uh, mid this year. UNC is good, but they they could be beat. Gonzaga, uh, and then Kentucky's just inconsistent. You look like Gonzaga is like, actually not good this year. You look like you like Gonzaga. He yeah. looks like he played for them. Gonzaga. I like it. I don't like Gonzaga. Gonzaga. So Jordy, they flew me out for. You guys ready for the game? Preferred walk on. Oh yeah, let's get this Did game. They? It's ten fifty five. You want me to tell you my court storm 10, story 55. when I was at Kentucky and we beat Tennessee? I'm gonna tell you. This <laughs> Are you ready for the Willie Cully Stein? Don't. Nah, for the it game, was uh, bitch. it was Grant Williams and uh, Admiral Schofield when we played them. Oh, I won't talk about it right now. Go ahead, Grant Williams. So this game, Tennessee. Legends. I have three players for each of you. I've taken all of the numbers <laughs> off of their jerseys, but I will tell you who they are. You just have to give me what number they were. Can we try to guess who they are, too, to make it just a little more fun or no? Sure. Go ahead. Sure. Okay, so we'll do a two-point system then. If you can tell me who it is, but you can't tell me the number, the next person in line will get to steal. If he can't get it, the next person, if nobody gets it, it's a wash. Better up. (laughs) Who's up first? You're going to start. I'm going to send this picture to the group. God damn it. And I have one easy one for kind of each of you. Okay, I hope so. Okay, let's get it. Jesus. Did you do the Browns ones for us then? I don't even know who this cat is. <laughs> I I think I know who it is. Wait, is this current or no? 
It doesn't have to be. There, there's a mix of current and non-current. Oh, yeah, that's Roosevelt fuck. Knicks number 45. This is dose. Yeah. Is Roosevelt Knicks number 45. That is Roosevelt Knicks he played number fullback? 45. Okay. Dante? And my dog, Rosie. I don't know ball. I'm just letting you guys know beforehand. Sending you your picture. I just don't know it. Bruh. Thanks for sending me a Steelers player. I couldn't Love send you. that to you. That one's still easy, though. What was his number? Oh, ah, that one. You know it. Don't be That is Stop easy, playing. bruh. Stop playing. All right, Odell Beckham. No, nah, bro, that's Jarvis. Number three. <laughs> number three. Ah, I didn't think it was. I, I was like seeing so many different mine. numbers in my head. He is oh, number three. This for is the easy mode, Jordan. I'm going to admit Derek. This is like, I said Derek. I was going to give you Same all person. one easy one. That's um, what I told Derek. He said, I'm not going to get it. I oh, said, this said is easy mode, bro. You got this. They're the same person. That's why. Ah, shit. He no. wore a different number yeah, for the he did. Rams. <laughs> oh, oh, he just fucked Baker you. Mayfield, 17. Yes. Oh, Baker man. Mayfield number seven. I'm a, I'm a Baker you. fan. That one was that. the hardest so, one out of all of them. You dirty bastard. He gave me a dude that re- that retired six years but ago. But you're a hardcore Steelers fan, though. Hardcore. You're hardcore. I'm you're just hardcore. Can you well, say your pick again. You're hardcore. Why was it wasn't on me? It was. It was, but it was like right when you said it. Uh, Baker Mayfield seventeen. Yes. That was the hardest one. You're hardcore. You're the hardest. Matt, one. we're back <laughs> to you. I'm the hardest one. I didn't think about you guys having to name the players. So some of the guys Ooh, have I know like who their this helmets is. on and some don't. What is that? I think thing? I know who this is. So the little thing is just the logo. It got fucked up when I was removing the number because it was an AI. I don't remember, remember his number for us though. It depends. Do you know who that is? Nah. Um, I know who that is. I think he, he changed his number. Yeah, he did. So if I say either number, can you look can you Google that real quick? Laptop e Google. Uh, yeah. You want his current number or who he put that number on that team? It has to be on that team. Yeah, I know who it is. I just don't remember his number. So if um Dante like says but who he is but gets get his number wrong, I can still guess the number though. Okay, he only wore one number with the Browns. Okay. Oh, Fuck. I don't remember it. <clears throat> is it I don't, I don't know. Number four. No. Okay. So that's Jabril Peppers. Oh, one shit. point. And then you'll give me a Michigan dude and a Browns dude. Um, who is that, Dante? Jabril Peppers. Um, <laughs> Jabril. I'm gonna just guess number five. No. No, he didn't wear five. I yeah. That. Uh, does he? St- he gets a point though, doesn't he? For getting For the name Jabril yeah. Peppers. Twenty-two. It was not. That's 22. what I was gonna say, dude. Yep. I was like, I couldn't remember Grant Delpit Jabril was on the Peppers. team or not. Watching too number much twenty two. Oh, I didn't know. Did, Grant he, did he wear number two in college? He wore five. He wore five in college. Okay. For some reason I thought he That's wore two and he just five. doubled. He's five it. Now, with the Giants, he wore twenty one, three, and five. You gotta think when he played for the Browns, there wasn't the single digit. There was digit. a picture of him. He might have got did he get traded preseason? No, nah, he got traded in season, I think. Mm, maybe. There was a preseason picture of him like in at like training camp or something, wearing 27. So that's why I wanted to make sure I looked. But it, he did only 22, officially wear bro. 22. I couldn't that remember if Grant Delpit was on the team or not. It's a good guess. Can't All right, Dante. Michigan and a Brown player. That is crazy, though. <laughs> Your two words. Dante, we're back to you. <laughs> like I said, Brown player. <laughs> oh, come on. Do All I right. know his number? I don't know. All right, that's Alex Smith. Yeah, I do. That was easy. That is Alex Smith, right? I don't know. Is that your guess? Yes. Yeah, that is my guess. Um, I think I know his number. Number 10. No. Nope. Derek? Fuck. <laughs> 12? No. No. Matt? Matt? 11. Yes. <laughs> Damn it. 11? 12? <laughs> I knew it was 11 the whole time. I, I thought, thought it was of, one. I knew it was like a round. I thought it was one. Uh, RG3 had 10. <clears throat> and I knew RG3 Kirk? had 10. Kirk had eight, and Colt McCoy or somebody had, had 12. 12. Yeah. What about Case Keenum? Uh, oh, I forgot about that guy. All right. Derek? All right, Big Dirt. This one. It's your team. I had the hardest one so far. Who the fuck is that? Fuck Bro, is that you know guy? who that is. Oh, I know who that is. Austin oh, Hooper. Oh, my God, dude. Austin Hooper. That's easy. His face looked weird in that, though. I'm going to keep it real. I thought that I was Peyton think... Hillis. Yeah, he looked he looks like Peyton I thought Hillis. that was Peyton Hillis. <laughs> um, you should know his number, bro. This is easy. I don't know his number. Oh, I'm so mad at you. Matt. But I'm going to go... I'm still going to okay, guess, yeah, at least. 
87. No. Oh, fuck Matt. that, Matt. 81? Fuck, yes. you bastard. That's, That's what it is. Yeah, it was 81. It is a complete tie game. Four, four, and four. I was going to guess 88 or 87. All right, Matt. Your next player. Bro, he look, He don't look like Austin Hooper. From I thought that was Peyton Hills. Like Hills. He, he looked weird. <laughs> oh. Well, I know who that is. Do I know what number he wore for that team? Hell no. You just got to go with the low-hanging fruit, bro. <laughs> you just got to go with the low-hanging fruit. That's I was crazy. going to give this one to Dante. Okay. But I switched the last player. It's Randy Moss. Yes. On the Oakland Raiders. Hey, you got to put Randy wild. inside of a helmet, bro. That is too easy. You see his fucking... I wasn't anticipating you guys to guess the player and the number. It was just yeah, the number. Oh, yeah. Number. Good point. You're right. You're right. Hey, you coming me hot like that again, bro? And I'll fight you on camera. You feel me? All right. Um, you got Odell with no helmet, so... That's crazy. <laughs> True. Black <clears throat> History Month, though. All Derek's players got helmets. <laughs> huh? All my players got helmets on? Matt, That's trash. Final guess. Um... Cordell Stewart. Fuck. Was he? Say it. Say it. Dun, 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 I can't think of it, bro. 81? No. I meant 18. That's what I really meant. Because I don't think he was allowed to have 81. I don't think he's allowed to have 18. I don't think 18. 81's Tim Brown. I meant to say 18, but go ahead. Oh, he probably wasn't I'm going to keep real with you, point. bro. I don't even know either. I'm 84. I'm going to go with 18 because Matt said 18. It was 18. Dang. Dude, that's what I meant to say for real. So how, I don't know. Oh, it's that's cool. me, baby. Yeah, he's got that. Hey, that's he cool. shouldn't have said anything out loud. <laughs> that's fucked up. Why are you raising the roof, dude? That was the whitest thing I've ever that's seen That's the lead, do. baby. That's me running away well, with the lead. Since you guys are guessing the player, Dante, I'm going to say good luck on this one. Ah. Because I was going to tell you who it is. Dang. Obviously, I cannot. That's Allen Robinson. Okay. It is Allen Robinson. Oh, I thought that was... You uh, know what number he wore with Chicago? I thought that was Jay Cutler. If I stare out into the abyss, I will get it. <clears throat> I can't believe I went like dyslexic for a second and said 81. 81 was like, I know he's not 81. He's not 84. Number 12. He was number 12. I'm a Damn, dog, I thought bro. that one would be way harder. If I stared at the floor long enough, I would get it. Dante took the lead by one. And low-key, I did, I guess, make Derek's a little easier. Oh, yeah, that's what I like to that's hear. crazy work. Derek don't know So this though. one, I had to make him hold a football. The AI would not just take the number out and give him a blank jersey. Oh, easy work. Amari looks weird as hell. That's easy. Um, Why well, do I forget what number he wore with the Raiders? Amari Cooper. Yeah, so now I'm tied with Dante. That's yep. so crazy. You gave this dude three Browns. He did get three Browns. Did I get three? Baker. <laughs> Baker. Yeah, he, Baker. I didn't even think Austin about Cooper that. Cooper yeah. and Amari Cooper. Yeah, he did get three Browns. That is crazy. Think about that. Nasty work. It was in the 80s. Now he played in the 2000s. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like 2010s. I want to feel like it's a weird number, bro. It is. 84. No. Nah, I just baited you. It wasn't. <laughs> this cat. <laughs> Amari Cooper on the Raiders? I don't remember either. I don't know what number it was. I was just messing with you. I'm looking it up. Don't look it up. Well, I can't say it now. No, you're right. Tell me. <laughs> if you get this, you're tied with Dante and Derek for the tiebreaker. No, I'm up by one. No. No. Or Dante. I'm tied now. With oh, I'm tied. Amari Fuck. Cooper, you're tied Oh, and then, you, then you would have a tiebreaker. He does have a tiebreaker for all of us. That is fucked up, ain't it? That is funny. And with the tiebreaker, just... I'm not giving points for the name. 89. Okay. It was number 89. Oh, big close. So with the tie breaker, Damn it, the camera was on Jordan because I was thinking, or uh, Derek because I was thinking too hard. Oh, that's, you got my 89. weird faces in it then. Yes. You're welcome to my world. <laughs> well, I don't forget. So, I just leave it on you because you talk the like, most. With the tiebreaker, I want you to all individually text me back what number you thought this guy was. Oh, okay, okay. Instead of just trying You're to You're not all getting out. points for the name. Are we getting points for who says it first? No, just wait. I mean, I guess if it double ties, I'll have to find somebody else. <laughs> But, Come on. Okay. Do it. Are you sending us a picture? So I'm there's sending no... the picture in the group, but text me individually what number you thought this guy was. Who the fuck? It's Adrian Peterson. Oh, oh okay. Man. Yes, it is. Oh, yeah, it is. I thought that was Jamal Adams. Fuck. No, that's Adrian Peterson on the Seahawks. <laughs> <laughs> I said to text me individually <laughs> first of all. <laughs> Adrian Peterson. <laughs> I'm sorry, Robert. Derek, child. what are you looking up, bud? You know he cheated over there. You know he cheated. Cheating ass, mother. I'm not. I don't know. I'm just cheating guessing. Cheating ass, boy. 
I just threw out a number. I'm probably wrong. Where the fuck wrong? are you? You can I'm tell not me. I'm not going to tell you until everybody sends theirs. You didn't text Tell me it. where's Jordan No, at. I sent it to just him. Individually. Oh. Oh, like not to the group. My bad, my bad, my bad. I, I knew he wore this number so. for one team. Dang. It was either Should that I made the tie break easier. It yeah. ma- it made that. One, it was either that one or this one in my head. How many guesses did you get? I, my very first one's my final, but everybody's wrong. That's crazy. So we I said twenty six. I said twenty eight. Matt said thirty eight. Derek said twenty six. Well, none of us know. So, so we what just, is it? What was it? Can we just guess again? You just want to do it again? We Whoever all got gets it, it first. No, rapid that, fire. It's just random. <laughs> we just but like rapid guessing. fire, one number at a time. So like Dante, you have your new guess. Instead of texting it or just just, just text. We just go in order just now, or it. just say just it. say yeah, a number. Twenty six. No. Why well, I said I guessed twenty six. Oh, did you? Yeah. Well, twenty three. Oh, that worked. <laughs> no. <laughs> we about to just start saying twenty nine. No. Twenty two. No. Twenty one. Thirty. What are we doing? No. I was just spitballing. I was just gonna go up. I thought we were going. Oh, I oh. was just saying shit. Okay. I'm just spitballing. You know? <laughs> it's my sir. Is it? Go ahead. Uh twenty. No. <laughs> this shit's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I feel like we should do something that we know. It's just gonna be luck. <clears throat> thirty nine. You anyone say thirty one yet? Dante did. Uh thirty two. No. <laughs> I think we went through all the 20s. 33. Almost. That was my we didn't number. go through all the 20s. Ah, fuck. We said 20, 21. 24. 22, 23, 20, not 24. Hey, 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 chill. I'm saying out loud in chill. my head. 27. No. One of the numbers you said already hasn't been said. 25. You thought that it was said, but it hasn't been oh, said. Oh, 24. No. Travis Homer. 23. Travis Homer. No. 22. 20. 22. 21. It's 22. 22. It's 22. All right, get us a new player. <laughs> It's 22. Is it 22. 21. Oh, I said 21. Dang, I had just looked it up. I was going to say it to sound smart. <laughs> I just looked it up. You're a bitch. It's number 21. Dang, All right, he three played way tie. What are we doing now? 21. Oh, dude, we got to go. Yeah. It's 11 10. I guess you guys have to rock, paper, scissors to see who wins this three game. Three way tie. Give us a random trivia question. Something random. Just Derek. look up a random player right now. 20, just ask us. Uh, and whoever's closest wins, I guess, do that. Closest to what? What if we get? Because like, if we get, what if we get all wrong Why again? Can't we just rock with a three-way tie and yeah, it's true. Pull our cocks out. Uh-huh. We know, we know ball. <laughs> I was gonna pull it out. I thought you about to sit Indian style. I was about to say, bro, don't you sit Indian style on this goddamn couch? <laughs> it's on you too. I'm flexible, cuz. Yeah. All right, me. Derek, you're gonna go first. What number did Marquise Brown wear for the Ravens? <laughs> <laughs> he wore two, so you have two options. Oh, I know. Both. Oh, I got one. I know both. Eighteen. Folks. No. Oh, it goes to me, right? Ah, no. It's been going this way the whole time. We were going that way. Yeah, I guess. Go ahead. Fifteen. All right. If you can give the other one, then I guess you guys tie. Ah, oh, Matt's gonna win out, right? Five. Yep. It was five. Oh, it was. <laughs> Let's go. Fifteen five. I wasn't sure if I was just confusing now fifteen I think or not. another player. Here, I got you. So All we're right. down to two. Here, I got you. You have been eliminated. Can I, can I give him one? Because yeah, this player him. played for the Browns and the Steelers. Hurry up. I got like two minutes. Justin Gilbert. Oh, 21. Oh, for which team? Browns. Do you know what he, what number he wore for the Steelers? No, I don't. It's a different number than 21. If you get that, like you, like you guys got the other one, then you got it. 22. <laughs> 24. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know. Matt wins in the triple overtime tiebreak. I didn't expect that, to be honest. Good job. I was, Good work, wasn't Matt. expecting a triple overtime. Good work, Matt. I had one tiebreak. How do you feel that you uh, no ball? Well, you know, man, I just got to thank God. Uh, <laughs> watched NFL films to my eyes, bled. Hey, you pulling the Taylor Swift, just shaking Yeah, that's head. why I did it. Before we get out of <laughs> did here. Did you guys see that? Yeah. It's because, yeah. I did. Before we get out of here, though, um, ESPN had posted this. What did you think was more impressive? Tyrese Hill too too hot. Jesus Crimity. How about Tyreek Tyree, 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 Tyree. Tyree Hill's 203 receiving yards in a quarter? Oh, I've seen this. Or Clay Thompson's 37 in a quarter. What was more impressive? I kind of need to see how Tyreek got the ball. He got it and ran. <gasps> I mean, if he 2,000 in a season? No, he got 200 <laughs> in a quarter. I'm pretty sure Dante said 2,000. 
two hundred and a quarter. Or thirty seven. I know, I, seven and I, a know quarter. I stroked out, but I'm pretty sure I said two hundred and a quarter. You said 2000. I thought you said two thousand too, but I knew what you well, meant. Well, when we edit, we'll figure it out. <clears throat> it don't matter. Ask it one more time to TikTok. Go. What do we think was more impressive? Tyreek Hill's two hundred and three yards in a quarter or Clay Thompson's thirty seven points in a quarter? Posted by ESPN. Oh, Derek. Fuck. Oh, Jordan. Tyreek Hills because nobody plays defense in the NBA. Ah, this was a long time ago. It was. They I'm also going to go Tyreek. Uh, you can't throw yourself the ball. Yeah, I'm I'm going Tyreek too. I almost changed the question to Clay 60, like three and three quarters because I thought that was super impressive. 37. I watched Kevin Love put up like 34 and a quarter, so like I wasn't that impressed by Clay. <laughs> yeah, he, he was. You, you remember that? Yeah. Like, if Kevin Love can do it, it's like, ah, didn't make it that impressive anymore. Yeah, go. And it have to be Tyreek Hill, but it's more impressive because you don't have that many games either. Nice. You have 82 games in the NBA. And how many seasons? You have many more chances to have a crazy game or a crazy quarter compared to an NFL season that is not that long. Okay. Why don't you outro us out? You have more opportunities. Outro us out, bucko. Peace out. You ran into the mic. Deshaun Watson style. Ah, baby. (laughs) Goodbye, everybody. Till next time.